Hello everyone, welcome to Second Break to the Left. Lego just had their annual Star Wars celebration. Here's everything I bought. I hate when YouTubers ask people to leave predictions in the comments, so I won't ask for that. But I'll ask you at the end if you guessed right. I spent enough to qualify for all three gift with purchases that were available. First is the Armoured Assault Tank Poly Bag. You had to spend over £35 to qualify for this. That's not a bag poly bag set. Nothing too much to be excited about though. Next is the Battle of Yavin collectible. This has been wrapped up less well and it actually had gotten stuck to one of the sets in the box. Spoilers for what set that belongs to. You had to spend over £80 to qualify for this one. It's a little tough to get into. It looks pretty decent. The quality is really nice. This is one of those items I don't really know what to do with. I'm not sure I know where the collectible coin from last year went to either. And the final gift with purchase I got was the Trade Federation Troop Carrier. You had to spend over £145 to qualify for this one. I know a lot of people didn't like that this was a gift with purchase when in the past similar versions were simply sets you could purchase. I understand that and it's probably a good marketing tactic from Lego to make it a gift with purchase. I think it's a good gift with purchase set and I'm certainly happy with the droids. Let's dig into the sets I bought. First up is the Phantom Menace Brickheads. I'm so excited to build these. This is the box that was stuck to one of the envelopes. I'm not mad about it. Look at all the characters. I'm going to build Queen Amidala first. If you saw my upcoming Lego video about the Phantom Menace Brickheads, you'd know I wasn't too upset at Obi-Wan's absence because he does exist as a Brickhead. With that in mind, Guess what the next set I got was? Because six brick heads in one order isn't enough. It's the Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader brick heads. These look so good. Darth Vader's suit is really impressive. After eight brick heads, I promise there are no more in this video. The next set I've been waiting several months to buy. It's the micro-sized Millennium Falcon. It's such a nice size and a good price. There's one more set I got. I did say in a past video I was going to get this, but I was going to wait for a sale. Well, I didn't wait. It's the Pod Race Diorama. I do still think it's overpriced, but every time I saw pictures of it, I just kept wanting to build it. It had double insider points, so I justified it that way. Here's everything together. I'm really happy with what I got and I'm probably going to start with the Phantom Menace Brickheads. At the start of the video, I asked you to guess what I got. Did you guess any of them correctly? Let me know in the comments. And let me know if you got any of these sets too. And what else did you get? Did you manage to find any Lego Star Wars bargains? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe because review videos for these sets will be coming at some point. Enjoy the rest of your day.